burst, burst, hardcore. Yep, that's right. Uh, never did a hardcore play before. Uh, and uh, this is our spawn, apparently, in our new hardcore world. Not too bad. Oh, we're on top of a tree, so we gotta make our way down somehow. All right, we're down from the tree. But yeah, like I said before, this is my first. Oh, whoops! This is my first hardcore world. Why? Because I originally played Bedrock, and that means that there was no hardcore. I wanted to play hardcore, but now we're in Java, which means hardcore is about to be a real thing. Uh, she, yo, I'm trying to craft here. I have ideas that I want to do so that we, you know, don't die. Because if we die, then that's gonna be a bad thing. But there's sheep around here, which means that we'll have a easy access to beds. And that's something that I'm super excited about, which means I'll probably sleep through the night for the first couple of things. And oh, uh, oh, there's a village? Yo, this spawn is crazy. Okay, so I guess this is our spawn here. I will take these pigs, and as we're gonna go over there, we're gonna go see what that's all about. All right, village. So it seems like the beds were not needed, which is maybe a bad thing. Not really a bad thing, I guess, but we get food from them anyways, so I guess it's also a plus. And here we go. So we just gotta make sure that these villagers don't die, because this is actually part of my plan. I'm gonna make probably something villager related, like get diamond armor, get OP really fast, and just freaking rule the world. Because these, these mobs get quick, and the thing that scares me is creepers, and this is something that I don't want. All right, stone. All right, 30 cobblestone. That should be enough to make some couple of furnaces and make stone tools, which I really want. All right, so you see that iron golem right there? You'd think that I want to kill this thing, but I'm not going to, because number one, it would beat me to a pulp, hi. <laughs> and also, it would be good to defend me from zombies and stuff for now, since we're not really strong enough to fight them. Oh, yes, sugarcane. I will take that ASAP. Eat. What the? Oh, hello, zombie. I have no idea why you're burning, but you can stay away from me. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. Is there like a cave in here or something? Well, obviously, it's okay if I see it. But it doesn't lead anymore, sadly. Oh my god, yes, a cave. Okay, coolio. Which means we can finally go down here, which is something I really want. And I think the goal for this video is probably, at least the first goal is to just get four iron. We're gonna be in and out. We're not gonna do anything super difficult or anything. We're not gonna look for diamonds because diamonds is a whole nother fee. If we find some, cool. But if we don't find any, it's not a big deal, okay? I have never been so nervous to be in a cave because creepers can freaking just blow you up whenever, okay? So we're gonna sit here, watch our backs and get a shield. Like that's my first, is that creeper? No, that's a freaking zombie. Okay, hi zombie. We're placing torches around here so we don't lose anything in them. We'll mine, kill all the mobs. Easy stuff. Hello guys. Ooh. Wait. See? We're already low. And I have no food. Okay, we're gonna cook food. I'm sorry I'm being a baby, guys. I'm being, I just absolutely got just punked. Okay. All right, we got some food in our bellies. We're not gonna die instantly anymore. Let's make an iron pickaxe, why not? All right. Let's go out there once again. This time, not die. Our goal is iron. We gotta stay here long. We'll come back to this cave when things are a little bit better. But right now, our main goal is to watch your backs. See, 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 see? Told you, told you. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> see, I told you, watch your backs. Oh my God, the creepers are so freaking quiet. How did, how did he, how did he blow up? Oh, he turned around, I saw him, bro. What did, see, playthrough is gonna be over, right there. Already. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Goal. Get full iron. Complete. Let's get out of here. Up. Oh, surface. Yes. And of course it's daytime. Makes sense. I did just sleep. So I gotta head back to the village. 
wherever that is. Oh wait, oh, oh, it's over here. Yay, we popped out close to it. That's nice. So I guess we can go into the second portion-ish of the episode. My plan is to make a villager trading hall. So hopefully none of the villagers have died so we can, you know, make something like that. You're, okay. I think they're all, I think we're all alive. Or the majority are. Yeah, okay, cool. We'll, we'll be able to do this. All right, so this is the area where I think I'm gonna start building the trading hall at. We're gonna flatten this ground up and we're gonna see how it looks after. Time lapse time. So you're probably wondering why I'm making a villager trading hall instead of a starting home like normal people would do. This is so that I can have diamond armor pretty early on and I won't die as easily. The main wood I used was acacia, obviously because it's around the area and I've never used it before. This build was incredibly fun to make. Even though it took me around a couple of hours, I still enjoyed every moment of it. A lot of tools broke this episode, which means next episode we're gonna need way more iron, but I think the final design was really worth it. I'm more of a redstone guy, so maybe eventually I'll probably add some sort of redstone. You can see here right now, I am trying to think of designs, because I wasn't sure if I wanted the strip ones, but eventually I decided to have the unstripped ones, as it kind of gave it a different contrast of color. Maybe I'll expand this one day, but since we don't have that many villagers, I kind of made relatively small sections that a decent amount of villagers will go in just for a single player survival. I also used stairs to give a different variety, but they eventually changed the half slab so that the villagers couldn't escape out of their little pen. The roof was brand new. I've never made this type of barn house like roof, so making it was kind of a struggle, but I really think it came out especially well. With that though, that's all I have to say about this build. So let's finish it up and put the villagers inside. All right, and welcome to the trading hall. I'm gonna be completely honest, this took me a while. So we have our beds and stuff, and we have the little sense the villagers are gonna be in. So now we gotta do the, I guess, sorta semi-hard part. There's a bed already in here because a villager kind of occupied my bed for some odd reason. That's where he's gonna go. So probably when it's night or something, or he goes to his bed, that's where it's gonna be. So now we gotta see how we're gonna get these villagers inside of their little containers. Hello, villager. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to break your house. Or you can come outside. Yeah, come out. Oh, no, okay. In thy boat. Get in the boats, my good sir. There you go. All right. Let's see. How the freak am I going to get you in here? Okay, let's get... All right, boop. All right. Die boat. He's trapped in there. We're gonna go grab his thing. And there we go. First villager in here. Some blocks over here, but now we can trade with you and get emeralds too. So now we gotta do this way more times. You have Fletcher, bro. Come on. There you go. Thank you so much. Alright, let me trade with you so you don't. Oh my god, are you mad at me? Oh, he's mad. I can hand a villager. Two hours later. All right, after a little bit of getting the villagers inside of their little things, these are the villagers I have. Maybe off camera, if I find more, I'll probably put them in the training hall. But that's pretty much it. Thank you so much, guys, for the episode, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. I feel like next episode is going to be super eventful. I don't know why.